up in Ghana was really a beautiful childhood, a very simple one. I, I went to school here um, and I am now part of that diaspora because I left for university. I worked and then I came back. I'm Brandon Rogers. I'm from Orlando, Florida, born and raised. I moved to Ghana back in 2006. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Lillian. Seriously, this video, I've been skeptical about this video because ah, I don't want to get into any trouble with anybody. You're promoting Ghana. You're saying good things about Ghana. But I go day my day, they sit down. Things from Ghana, good things will find me come. So what do you expect? I will grab it. I want to show it off and that is why today I bumped into this man here who is African-American that moved to Ghana and I'm like upon clicking on the channel I could see something like like wow you guys if you have been following me for a while you know what i love i love it natural greenish and peaceful that's my kind of life so when i saw that i said okay let's take a look at it okay foreigners keep coming to ghana and when they come here what do they really do i have interviewed a couple of african americans here on my channel which some of them like linda ajua i want to pay her a visit again to see what's up with what she has going on but she just told me to hold on let her finish up her center then i could go and what about my big uncle from ohio us mr calvin daniels he is doing amazing and is doing excellent two weeks ago we chatted he chatted me up on instagram and i was like i was just thinking about you sir i hope you're fine how are you and he said it's fine i'm also working on paying him a visit to go see how he's doing so but then before we get to them let's take a look at this african-american man that came to ghana and what he has going on at the Volta region of ghana let's take a look at that together greetings my name is brandon and this is migrating culture today i'd like to introduce you to habasha's kweku ando sustainability institute simply known as the cassie project here we've incorporated our domes for africa campaign into the overall layout and behind me you'll see the beginnings of our dome studios the dome is a structurally reinforced monolithic cast concrete shell that can withstand the test of time. Here you'll see our arched window augmentations which will bring in a lot of daylight. When completed the overall dome will be as smooth as an eggshell and as solid as a rock. I'd like to invite you to follow along at hashtag the Cassie project, hashtag migrating culture, hashtag Habasha Inc, hashtag dome for Africa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, that was four years ago. When YouTube tells you four years ago, it means five years ago. Maybe it could be just maybe one minute to five years ago. So this is like five years ago. Now let's take a look at what it looks like right now. Ah, this is beautiful. There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night As that day goes by You seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night as the day goes by Seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mission, oh, bala que da da o de Just begun, it's not too late to win at the end 
Kani moko la kabo wanyami Bok chwin and hold on The handsome man, Mr. Brandon, the man fine. I won't lie. Okay, yeah, maybe crushing on him. Not exactly like boys. He, he looks good. Okay, don't get me wrong. He looks he looks fine. Okay, I want to see him some years ago before. First and foremost, uh, thank you for inviting me here. I'm Brandon Rogers. I'm from Orlando, Florida, born and raised. I moved to Ghana back in 2006, and really it was initially my first trip. Ghana was my first stamp in my passport. I had just graduated from FAMU, and I was searching for more. After FAMU, I did take a job in the architecture field, and I was working in Orlando. I was doing what we're quote-unquote supposed to do, you know, go to school, or get good grades, get a good job. I had done just that, and now I was in my cubicle working in an architecture office right before this was 2006 if you remember the climate of the country as far as development and banking and everybody was getting loans for projects and so much stuff was going it was before the crash in 2008 and so yeah it was buzzing but i personally wasn't fulfilled in that cubicle I had a friend who we had already made a plan that after college we were going to travel. Life hit us in different ways and so we weren't able to keep to the timeline. When that happened, I took the job, he stayed the course and about a year later he traveled to Ghana and he came to Ghana. I then felt like I had missed this opportunity and I asked him straight up, I'm like, listen, is it everything that we thought it was going to be? And he was very honest with me and he was like, yes. So at that point in time, I, I took the decision that, no, I need to course correct and I need to get over there with him. And I did just that. That was 2006. He was interning with a local uh, architect who was doing a lot of sustainable echo. Yeah, bro. He's a very handsome man. Okay. Now that was back then. Okay. Now let's take a look at him now. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 I am Brandon and it's another beautiful day in Ghana, West Africa. Today we're over at the Cassie Project. That's the Kweku Andu Sustainability Institute up in the Volta region in the beautiful, small, quaint town of Liatewote, where uh, Mount Afajato and Togbo Falls is home to. It's a beautiful, beautiful day and they're having a wonderful program up here, so I want to share some of the footage with you all. So enjoy and comment below and let me know what you think about this beautiful institute. He looks so different, like he has changed so much. Really, he has changed. Ah, looking at this man now, dear young guys in the building, remember, you're not gonna remain like that. Go age, like you're gonna age, just that I wish you to age gracefully like Mr. Brendan. I wish you to age like that. Ooh, he went from a fine, gentle guy or boy to this fine aged looking man life is amazing okay so that is what i have to post today from foreigners moving to ghana let's take a look at a video by this lebanese woman that moved to ghana and why she came let's look at that first and then i'll be back uh growing up in ghana was really a beautiful childhood a very simple one 
I consider myself a Lebanese Ghanaian. I, I went to school here and I am now part of that diaspora because I left for university. I worked and then I came back. I came back to Ghana uh, in 2011 because I felt that I wanted a better childhood for my, for my two kids. So my grandfather came to Ghana uh, in the, eight, the early 1900s. Um, the Lebanese community in Ghana had been uh, growing since the late 1800s. They were going to America from the coast of, of uh, Lebanon and uh, they got dropped off in Cape Coast and so the community started growing from there. My grandfather joined his brothers in Ghana. So my, I'm the third generation Lebanese in Ghana. I consider myself a bit of uh, both, a bit of a lot of things, but mainly uh, Lebanese Ghanaian. I, I went to school here and I am now part of that diaspora because I left for university. I worked and then I came back, brought my family back because I wanted them to experience, listen to the birds singing <laughs> in the background. And it's is basically, is basically that, it's a combination of wanting to experience Ghana and nature and be able to live in a, in, a, in a space that is serene and that gives you that feeling that you want to be creative. Um, so we host a lot of creative. Uh, growing up in Ghana was really a beautiful childhood, a very simple one. Um, it was a small community. I went to an international school, but I went, I mean, I, we, I lived in other places as well, but I mean, predominantly my, my high school years were in Ghana. And I think that that really shaped me. Um, being in nature has shaped me, appreciating nature. Uh, we've always had pets in our house. Uh, um, I think Ghana means more to me, I think, than other places because, of course, when a place shapes you, you, you don't, it doesn't shake off you easily. Okay, that is that. There are so many videos of foreigners moving to Ghana and when they come here, they just feel at home. I would love to be proud to see that too in my own country. I know there are foreigners living in my country, but this culture of hiding because you can't express yourself. So if, if you don't see me promote that, it's because I can't find them. Maybe you see a picture or when you eventually see Nigeria, I mean a foreigner in Nigeria, they are hiding or they are just basically being careful and then me coming out here to put them out there i don't know so this is what i have for you today on this episode and i hope that you check mr brendan okay i'm going to leave his youtube channel's link at the description or the first comment on this video so you guys can check him out so i hope that you enjoyed this video as i will see you in my next one Doo -doo.